Hello everybody and welcome back to Goalie Hub and if you've been a longtime subscriber or follower of the channel then you probably would know that last year about this time I did a ranking where I ranked my top 25 goaltending prospects in hockey and I wanted to give that another go this year so this is going to be my 2020 edition for that list and of course I do highly suggest that you go check out last year's list. There will be a link up here in the top right corner for you to check out. Uh, again, I definitely recommend watching that before watching this video just for a better reference guide for this year's list. Um, and another thing I wanted to mention here quick before we get into the video is that I did want to format my video a bit differently. I know last year I just had like a basic slideshow and that was about it. Um, but this year I did want to explain some of my picks more. Uh, but still I don't want the video to be super super long like this freaking COVID pandemic. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like five picks at a time and then I'll have a little explanation. Um, so after picks 25 to 20 I'll explain those five picks and then move on. Um, so it'll sort of go like that. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and obviously if you like goaltending and just hockey in general Then please hit that subscribe button. Um, you know, we just recently hit 200 subscribers again Thank you guys for that. I want to keep going. Maybe we can hit like 300 by the end of the year um, I don't know how that could work out But maybe if you guys are awesome enough We could definitely hit that number and also follow me on Instagram at uh, goalie underscore hub There will be a link down below in the description. So you should go check that out But anyways, here is my list for my top 25 goaltending prospects in hockey So quickly sort of going in depth on my picks from 25 to 21. At 25 I had Mikhail Burden. I think he's a definitely a solid goalie prospect. Uh, obviously he was a 6th rounder in 2016 by the Jets and he had a pretty solid season in the AHL last year with a 9-10 save percentage. And I think next season he could definitely push for Connor Hellebuck's backup job. And at the NHL level, he could definitely be an NHL backup and maybe get like a 1B uh, type role on a different team. Uh, obviously, the Jets are going to have Hellebuck as their starter for a long time. But Burden can at least be an NHL backup goalie. And at 24, I have Daniil Tarasov. Uh, I do like Tarasov. He didn't have the best year in the Liga last year. Um, but before last season, he had some great stats over in Russia. Uh, he was a 2017 third round pick by the Columbus Blue Jackets. And I do like Daniil Tarasov as a prospect. I think he could definitely be... Uh, at least like a tandem goalie in the NHL or at the very least an NHL backup and a very solid one to say the least and going to 23 I had Hunter Jones uh, he's a 2019 second round pick by the Minnesota Wild and I think he definitely gets overlooked a little bit he had a pretty solid season in the OHL with the Peterborough Peets a 913 save percentage to be exact there and overall, I do like Hunter Jones's game. Uh, he was invited to Team Canada's World Juniors camp last season, and he almost made the team. This year, I'm surprised, actually, to find out that he, he was not invited. Um, but nevertheless, I do like Hunter Jones as a prospect, and I think he could definitely turn into a solid NHL talent one day. And going to number 22, I have Mads Sogard, another 2019 second round pick, but this time by the Ottawa Senators. Um, he had a decent season in the WHL last season with a 908 save percentage. Obviously, the year before that, he had a 920 save percentage for the Medicine Hat Tigers, which is pretty impressive. Um, it's interesting that he's a Danish netminder. Maybe he can follow in the footsteps of fellow Danish netminder Frederick Anderson. Um, but I do like Sogard's game, and I think Ottawa is definitely stacked in the goalie prospect department. And Sogard is definitely a huge contributor to that prospect pool in Ottawa. And of course, at number 21, I have Joel Hofer of the St. Louis Blues. He had a really solid season in the WHL last year with a 915 save percentage. And he had a very, very impressive World Juniors with Team Canada. I know definitely last year going into the World Juniors, I think goaltending was supposed to be uh, a big weakness for Canada anyways. But Joel Hofer really came in. He stepped in. He took the starting job away from Nico Dawes. And he played absolutely out of his mind. A 946 save percentage is really impressive. And I think that's what put him on the map. In terms of an NHL future, I could definitely see him being an NHL backup, maybe even a tandem goalie, and maybe even an NHL starter. Uh, think of, you know, fellow St. Louis Blue Jordan Bennington as a pretty good example there. Um, but overall, I really do like Joel Hofer's game, and I like the potential that he brings to the table.
So now going through picks number 20 to number 16, at 20th, I had Jeremy Swayman from the Boston Bruins. He had a ridiculous season in the NCAA last year with a 939 save percentage, and I think that alone just had to have him on this list here. Um, even the seasons before that, he had some pretty solid numbers in the NCAA. Um, so I do like Jeremy Swayman's game. I think he brings quite a bit of potential and I think he could maybe be the next guy in Boston once Tuka Rask either declines or leaves Beantown. Um, but you know, Jeremy Swayman is definitely an impressive goalie prospect for me anyways. And going to number 19, I have Capo Kakinen from the Minnesota Wild. Uh, he's an older goalie prospect, he's 24, but he dominated the AHL last season with a 927 save percentage, and he was near the top of the league in save percentage, which is pretty impressive to do as a 24-year-old. Um, in terms of NHL potential, I could definitely see him being Minnesota's future guy. I think he brings NHL starter potential to the table. Um, you know, unfortunately, I think he's probably going to spend one more year in the AHL next season, as Minnesota is probably going to run with a tandem of Cam Talbot and Alex Stalock. Um, but I'm pretty sure Stalock's contract ends at the end of this season, but I might be wrong on that though. But either way, Kakinen should definitely force himself into some NHL action, and he did see some NHL games last year, and he looked impressive, so I really like Kapo Kakinen. As for my number 18 pick, I have Connor Ingram from the Nashville Predators. He was drafted by the Lightning, but he was traded for basically a bag of pucks. He was traded for a 7th rounder last summer, and I'm still really baffled as to why Tampa Bay decided to give him away for so little. Um, you know, he's had two or three seasons now where he's had save percentages above 920 at the AHL level. Um, but I think Tampa just mismanaged him, and he really proved that as last year he had a ridiculous season in the AHL. And I really hope that he gets to make the NHL as a starting goalie uh, at least like next season because this season he's probably unfortunately again kind of like Kapokakin and he's going to be stuck in the minors for another year as Pekka Rene still has one more year in his contract and the Predators also have UC Soros um, but I really like Connor Ingram and I think he's one of the most underrated goalie prospects at least from uh, NHL front offices um, for fans perspective I think we all know Connor Ingram is really good and I really hope he gets an opportunity to be a solid NHL netminder. At the number 17 spot, I had Eric Portillo from the Buffalo Sabres. He's a very solid Swedish goalie prospect. He had a really good year in the USHL last season, and the 2019 third round pick by the Sabres was on Team Sweden's World Juniors roster last year, but he did not play any games, um, but I would expect him to at least battle for a spot on the 2021 uh, World Junior roster for Team Sweden, but overall I do like Portillo's game and he could possibly one day be an NHL starting goalie Although he would have some competition in Uko Pekalukunen who is a bit higher up on my list And as for the number 16 guy, it is Hugo Elnafelt of the Tampa Bay Lightning He was also a 2019 third round pick by Tampa Bay and he was Team Sweden's starting goalie at the World Juniors He had a very impressive performance there and he had a pretty decent season over in the SHL last year and this year, I'm expecting him to play a full season in the SHL and maybe put up some better numbers. But overall, Alnafelt is a pretty solid prospect, and he's definitely probably a top three prospect for the Tampa Bay Lightning. So I think Alnafelt has a very bright NHL future. Now moving on to my number 15 to number 11 picks. At number 15, I have Edmonton Oilers prospect Ilya Konovalov. I hope I pronounced that properly. Uh, he's a very good Russian goalie prospect. He is a bit older though um, in terms of when he was drafted because he was only drafted last year, but he's already 22 years old. But he is putting up some pretty solid numbers in the KHL. Last season, he had a 9-12 save percentage, which is pretty solid for a 22-year-old as a KHL starter. And it, I honestly think he could be the next guy like a Shesterkin or Sorokin, where he maybe plays in the KHL till he's about 24, 25. And then by then he becomes a top end NHL goalie prospect. And I think the Oilers have a good prospect here in Konovalov. And Konovalov is definitely their best prospect in my opinion. And he could be 
uh, the future of their net in Edmonton. And of course, right after Konovalov at number 14, I have caught Chetkov. He's a Carolina Hurricanes prospect, a 2019 second rounder. He's 21 years old and he played pretty decent over in Russia last season. Um, but overall, he's had a very good career uh, in Russia, which is definitely very promising for the Hurricanes as they kind of need that top end goalie prospect as it looks like Nedeljkovic might not work out the way he was supposed to, which is pretty unfortunate. Um, but either way, I do like what Kochetkov brings to the table, and he has a very bright NHL future ahead of him. At my number 13 spot, I have Lucas Dostel. He's an Anaheim Ducks prospect, and he had an amazing 2019-20 season over in the Finnish Liga, um, posting up some pretty solid numbers there, and he's pretty young. He's only 20 years old. He was drafted in 2018, and he definitely brings a lot of potential to the table for the Anaheim Ducks. I know they're already set in net with John Gibson right now, but maybe Dostel could be a guy that they could use uh, in a trade to acquire some defense or forward prospects, or they use Dostel and he's maybe their goalie of the future, which makes Gibson expendable in you know three or four years. So that could be interesting how that plays out. But overall, I really like Dostel's game, and he had a breakout year last year, which is definitely promising in my eyes. Speaking of really great years in the Finnish Liga, at number 12, I have Eustace Anunin from the Colorado Avalanche, also a 2018 pick. Um, and he's turned into quite a steal for the Avalanche as he somehow managed to put up even better numbers than what Dostel did in the Liga last season. Um, you know, he had a ridiculous year, a ridiculous breakout year, and again, just like Dostel, he showed quite a lot of promise and potential last season, which is something I really like in terms of making these lists and ranking these 25 guys, as I'm trying to base it sort of off where they are now, but also their NHL potential, and in terms of that, I definitely really like Anunin. I think he has a lot of potential, and he's definitely Colorado's future goaltender. And at number 11, I have Uko Pekka Lukanen. Last year, I had him ranked in my top five, um, and I was really expecting him to come in and play most of the year in the AHL and have a pretty decent season. But unfortunately, he struggled in the AHL quite a bit uh, with the Rochester Americans, but he did have a pretty decent season in the ECHL with a 9-12 save percentage. Um, but I think just because he didn't quite meet those expectations that I had of him, I had to drop him down a little bit on this list. Um, but nevertheless, he definitely is still a top 15 goalie prospect, and he could definitely still be an NHL starter in a few years time. Um, but I'm hoping next season he gets to play more AHL minutes and maybe puts up some better numbers there. Um, but still, Lukanen does have a quite a bit of potential for the Buffalo Sabres. Now going on to my picks 10 through 6, at number 10 I have recently drafted Joel Blumquist, he was a 2020 second rounder by the Pittsburgh Penguins and he had an outstanding year in Finland's top junior league, the Junior ASM Liga with a 931 save percentage. Uh, I definitely do like this pick by Pittsburgh, he was the third goalie taken in the 2020 draft after Drew Kamesso and Yaroslav Askarov and I will talk about Kamesso in a second here. Um, but in terms of NHL potential, I really like Blomquist in terms of that, and I do think he has a lot of potential for Pittsburgh, and the fact that they already have Tristan Jari in the NHL right now, I think they're set in net for many years to come. Um, you know, they also drafted Cali Klang, who I consider putting on my list. Uh, he, they got him in the third round, and he has some pretty good NHL potential in him as well. So Pittsburgh definitely made a good pick when they picked Blomquist, and I have him in my top 10 prospects for a pretty good reason, as he has a lot of NHL potential. And going on to my number 9 pick, I have Drew Camesso from the Chicago Blackhawks. He was a 2020 second rounder by that team, and man, he is one of my favorite goalie prospects out there today. I don't know why, I just love his potential, I guess. I think he has a lot of potential, and the fact that he got drafted by the Blackhawks, who really really needed a top end goalie prospect, really helps his case at having an NHL future. Uh, he had a really solid year in the United States.
United States last year, and I'm really high on him. I think he will probably make Team USA's World Junior squad as the third string goalie. Um, but if there is an injury to either Dustin Wolf or Spencer Knight, who I'm expecting to be their top two goalies this year, um, expect Camesso to come in and be able to play pretty solid against his fellow competition at the World Juniors. But overall, I love Camesso's game and I love his potential. I think he's just oozing with potential and he could definitely rise up this list into the top five in future years. But for now, I put him at number nine. At number eight, falling one spot from last year's list, I have Michael DiPietro from the Vancouver Canucks. And falling one spot from last year's list, at number eight, I have Michael DiPietro from the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, he did have a really solid year in terms of being an AHL rookie, at least last year with a 908 save percentage. You know, that's pretty good for an AHL rookie goaltender. You know, he's only 21 years old, which is pretty impressive. And he did get another NHL game last year. It didn't quite go too well again. But I do think he has a really bright NHL future and a future tandem of Thatcher Demko and Michael DiPietro in a couple years for the Canucks could definitely look really lethal and they're definitely set in net and you know Michael DiPietro might play his way out of Vancouver uh, since they do have Demko I think Demko will be and is the better goalie but overall I love his NHL potential and I think he could be a pretty solid NHL starter in even just a couple years time as for number seven I have Caden Primo from the Montreal Canadiens he had a pretty solid rookie season in the AHL as well putting up identical numbers to DiPietro but the difference here is that he had a really impressive short stint with the Montreal Canadiens in the NHL posting a 931 save percentage in picking up his first NHL win which is really impressive um, you know, I think he's going to be the AHL starter again for this coming season. So hopefully he can put up some even better numbers and build on last year's success. But man, this guy has really come a long way since he was drafted in the seventh round in 2017. But overall, this is a really good prospect that Montreal has in their hands. And he could maybe be the future netminder after Carey Price. And the sixth best guy on my list is Dustin Wolf from the Calgary Flames. You know, I still ask myself this question. How was he not drafted in the second or third round last season, putting up the kind of numbers that he did? I understand he's only six feet tall, which is short in NHL goalie terms, but he put up some ridiculous numbers and you cannot ignore the facts. In my opinion for NHL drafting, I don't think size should matter so much. I think production should definitely matter a lot. And Dustin Wolf has put up a lot of very, very quality production over the past two seasons with the Everett Silvertips in the WHL. And Calgary definitely got the biggest steal of the 2019 draft here in Dustin Wolf. He's definitely their goalie of the future. He's their best goalie prospect right now. And he will probably put up some more ridiculous numbers this coming season once the WHL starts back up. And he'll also be able to play in the World Juniors this coming season. And I'm expecting him to perform pretty well for the United States. Now getting into my top five goalie prospects in hockey. At number five, I have Jake Ottinger. He's a 2017 first round pick by the Dallas Stars. And last year as the Texas Stars starter in the AHL, he had a 917 save percentage which is really, really good for a young goalie like Ottinger. And he also got a cup of tea in the NHL playoffs, playing two games there, not letting in one single goal. Uh, so next season, I think anyways, he's going to spend another year in the AHL as an AHL starter, and he's probably going to put up some pretty good numbers. But maybe after that, I think he'll be ready for the NHL. And he is definitely the Dallas Stars future of their crease. He's going to be their guy after Ben Bishop, and I'm really looking forward to when he will be in the NHL, as I think he could definitely be a top 10 goalie in the NHL one day, if everything pans out with Ottinger. At number 4, I have Ilya Sorokin. He is the oldest goalie prospect on my list at 25 years old. He was a third round pick all the way back in 2014, but he's going to be uh, on the New York Islanders roster next season. He finally came over from the KHL uh, this summer and he's going to be probably performing pretty well. He'll probably be in contention for the Calder Trophy. Um, at least that's what I'm expecting of him anyways. You know, he's been a highly talked about goalie prospect for years now, and I think the hype 
is definitely pretty high on Sorokin right now and he has a lot of hype surrounding him. Um, but I do think he'll be able to live up to expectations and he'll be the Islanders franchise goalie for many years to come. Going to the top three, at number three, I have Igor Shesterkin. Last season, he played absolutely out of his mind. He played really good in 12 NHL games, and he also played really good in the AHL, which is definitely promising for the Rangers. And he'll also be another guy that will be in Calder contention next season, as he'll likely be the New York Rangers starter next season, or at least he'll be in a tandem with Alexander Georgiev. But overall, I love Shesterkin's potential, and I think he'll be another franchise goalie and probably a future top 10, maybe even top 5 goalie in the NHL. Coming in at number 2, falling one spot from last year, I have Florida Panthers goalie prospect Spencer Knight. Um, he had a really, really solid freshman year in the NCAA for Boston College with a 931 save percentage in the NCAA. That's very impressive. He was also Team USA's starting goalie at the World Juniors, and he will be their starting goalie once again this year, so I'm excited to see how he performs in that tournament. Um, as for his potential, obviously, I think he could be a top five goalie in the NHL in even just a few years. Um, you know, give him a couple years in the NCAA to develop even further, and in a tandem of Bobrovsky and Knight will be definitely a very lethal one for Florida. And the only real reason Spencer Knight fell from number one to number two this year is because of Yaroslav Askarov, who I have at number one. He was the 11th overall selection in the 2020 draft by the Nashville Predators, and he had a very solid season for a 17-18 year old over in Russia. He played for Russia at the World Juniors, and I think that was his only weak point was his World Juniors performance. Other than that though, he became the youngest goalie in KHL history to play minutes in the KHL. Uh, and he had a very solid VHL season with a 920 save percentage and I think this guy could definitely be um, You know, he's the future of NHL goaltending basically He's the best goalie prospect on my list and probably a lot of other people's lists as I just love the potential He brings to the table and he will definitely be a great fit in Nashville as Pekka Rene is aging And I don't know how Soros can perform as a starter So Askarov in even just a couple years time could be breaking into the NHL and being a come complete stud. So that is my list of my top 25 goaltending prospects in hockey 2020 edition. I hope all of you guys enjoyed the video and if you did then be sure to leave a like and also comment down below who you think I missed on this list. I do want to give a couple honorable mentions uh, to guys like Joseph Wool, Philip Gustafson, uh, I think this is how you pronounce his name, Viney Vevelainen. Uh, he's a Columbus Blue Jackets goalie prospect. Um, and, you know, if any of you are wondering what the requirements were for me basing my goalies off of this, it was basically just anybody who was under the age of 26 and played 25 or less NHL games. So some of you might be asking where Aiden Hill is. He's played 30 career games, so he could not be on this list. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below who you think I missed and if you enjoy this video and enjoy goaltending and just hockey in general Then be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications to get notified whenever I upload a brand new video uh, I'm trying to do it once per week every Sunday So definitely stick around for some content like this every single week and also follow me on Instagram It's at goalie underscore hub uh, you should definitely go check me out on there because I'm starting up a new series with another Instagram account um, where we go through 20 different goaltenders who we believe were forgotten stars. So if you want to go check that out, then definitely follow me. There will be a link down below in the description. Um, but anyways, I hope all of you enjoyed and I hope all of you are doing well in these COVID times. And I will see you guys in the next video.